Christmas of 2014 is now behind us, and hopefully you have a whole new host of memories to last you a lifetime. And if you don't, perhaps maybe you've documented them for future reference. And if you did that, it's just possible they might show up online. That's what I learned on the web this week. There are many people who would like to forget an ugly Christmas sweater. After all, they're ugly. But in the last few years, what was once simply ugly is now also cool. And yes, this festive scene is a sweater. Now you've seen it all. Speaking of sweaters, remember the hockey sweater? That classic book by Rock Carrier depicting the horror a boy faces when he gets the wrong jersey for Christmas. Well, fans of Montreal and Toronto are not the only bitter rivals. How about the Flyers and the Penguins? All right, pull it out. What is it? <laughs> oh, and it's not just a Penguins jersey. It's Sidney Crosby's jersey. It's a Crosby jersey. It's just for you, he said. Yeah. <laughs> How about a half a million people viewed this one since Boxing Day alone? I somehow get the feeling this six-year-old might get a home game invite from the Flyers. This is seven-year-old Evan. He was having some doubts about the existence of Santa, so his uncle Dean decided to take on the role and help Evan videotape jolly old St. Nick's arrival. Of course, Evan was asleep, with visions of sugar plums dancing in his head when the big guy arrived. But on Christmas morning, his video showed him all the proof he needed. There's the sound of sleigh bells and hoofs on the roof. Then Santa comes in and goes for the milk and cookies. And of course, he then leaves all the presents behind. <laughs> and in this day and age, Santa knows a thing or two about surveillance cameras. So you better watch out next year. You don't want to be on that naughty list. Getting a puppy for Christmas would make many jump for joy. Imagine being the puppy that is chosen. This puppy in a South Korean pet store is just giddy with excitement, salsa style, at the prospect of being adopted. I see a future for him on Dancing with the Stars. But there are other dogs who aren't so friendly around the holidays, such as Wrangler here, who has clearly sniffed out that the package under the tree for him are dog treats. Can I have those cookies? Okay. Some cling to their gifts, <laughs> others repel them. And even with holiday memories, oh, it's always better to Are give than to receive. Oh. <laughs> That's what I learned on the web this week. Peter Anthony Holder, Global News, Montreal.